Hey everybody, Will here at Tom Cruise Studios Live Music in Austin for episode number four of Three Beers and Whiskey featuring George Von Duke. And beer number three. What uh, you have been something, somebody that I've been happy to get to know and work with, so, um, and then ask you to come on here to have you say, yeah. So that's why I dropped in with the, uh, the Maryland and the, the Denver goes. Bring it back around because apparently there are some questions coming in off the internet. Let's take it. So I got, I got two, um, and actually the first question I'm kind of, we've already addressed, there's three questions. One of them I've already addressed. Okay. Uh, which is performing in Austin, coming around, we know what I said. But, uh, and this is kind of a cool question, I like to ask this one. Okay. So when you go to perform live, you you got a show coming up. You're at Flamingo Cantina, and you you got a show that night. Do you have a preference between drinking beer or whiskey pre-show, or what's what's your what's your preference, beer or whiskey? During the show, I don't touch it. During the show, what what before show? No, not before. I don't do. But that after the show. So after the show, you're done. After the show, I'm Good. done. Is 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 rum actually? Mm. Because my people, my people. Two beers and rum just doesn't sound as good as two beers. It does, but not even in the but club. But, not. <laughs> but between beer and whiskey, I'm a rock with both mixed together. Oh, like Boilermaker. Damn. Oh. So I'm gonna tell you, if my homie Kilo is watching, what's up, Kilo? So we used to we used to go downtown, and we would legitimately have the bar to we would order a Bud Light. And we would drink the neck out, and then we would pour uh, whiskey Tennessee, the, uh, you know, well, Tennessee Jack, 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 no, no, straight Jack. Oh, just Jack. This is before honey came out. Just pour the Jack into the neck. Turn it over. Turn it over, mix it. That's, 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 that's where I was at. Damn, okay. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that's some, that's some getting tore up in the floor. They the boiler maker. Dirty six. We call them, we call them candy beers. We pop candy beers. That's what we call them. Yeah, beers. yeah. Oh, that sounds like shit. That girl right there be doing them candy beers over there. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Um, okay. So, so your preference is both. I got that with the boiler nice. maker. Very good. Right. All right. Now this next question. I like this question. <clears throat> I like the question because I've seen you perform both when I didn't know you and it was just like you came up on stage during somebody else's like a whole set and then I've seen you plenty of times after that including the battle. Yeah, that. What, okay, so on you for, for like on Alter Ego right. um, or just in general your lyrics where do you draw your lyrics from, and what do you rap about? Like, is there a theme? Is that is that a, a like fair way to ask the question? What's the theme in what you are yeah, rapping yeah, about? Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> any and everywhere, honestly. Um, I've, Puppies, kittens, unicorns. I've, I've <laughs> I could make so I could write songs about. I know what you could, but like, like but, but what but you what you put on vinyl or what you put on CD? What do you rap? What are your lyrics? I have lyrical content. I have literally rapped about. All right, so I just got done writing a song today. It's about killing George Zimmerman and the people that look and act like him. I literally just got done writing and recording that today. Okay. Whereas a couple of a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago, I did a song dedicated directly towards my grandfather. And my mom is on the actual, uh, on the song, her voice is playing. Oh, I'll say recording a recording. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, I've made songs about sleeping with women. I've made songs about killing people. I've made songs about beating people up. I've made songs about almost anything imaginable because the music, if you limit where you get your inspiration from, you're limiting your own talent. You just cut yourself off. Yeah, like, if you listen to Alter Ego, the premise for Alter Ego was being yourself but explaining who that other person is that you don't want people to. What I got out of that was more of, damn, I can't 
it's 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 super hard to describe. It, it wasn't there wasn't not, not violence or anger. It was like this this back and forth. It's a, it's a backing. It literally is. It's a back and forth of feelings between you and that person that you're trying to keep, either trying to keep in or keep out within yourself. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Is is that we we all have where we're at work and we have one personality that we present at yeah. work or professional or we're we're hi how are you doing today thank you very much for showing up can i take your order please um or answering the phone thank you for calling but it's we have a personality we deal with there and then we get home and we have a personality that we deal yeah. with that's pre- presumably most, who we are yeah most people have at the very least three different personalities I've they heard have, that before. They have their work personality. Yeah. They have their relationship personality. Yeah. They have their friends personality. Social. The ones that, yeah, their social uh-huh. personality of who they are when they're around their friends and stuff like that. Okay. And anybody who says any differently at one, because you don't act the same way in front of your girlfriend, your wife, that you act exactly the way that you act in front of your friends or in front or of your, in front your boss. boss. Right. You know what I mean? So yeah. we, we all do that. To, to save face in a certain way. Now, me personally, I'm the closest person that I know. I'm, I'm the closest one to acting the same around everybody, but there's little things that I do around certain and people. And you know what? I, I, would, I, I have to wholeheartedly agree with you on that because I have been with you hanging out at the pool for a birthday party, and it's like this super cool vibe we're just all chilling and having a good time mm-hmm. and then I've been with you when you're prepping for a performance and you go into Von Doom mode mm-hmm. and then it's like uh yeah just no no, no don't talk leave him alone right now yeah you give me the question I'll field it to him later um <laughs> and, and I'll be zoning man and so for me I and you know my my director who's behind the camera over here I think he would agree that I'm, I'm kind of like that too, I, which may be why me and you click and get along, mm-hmm. is that like when I'm at work, I, I do my job, I know my job is, but how I talk to my boss or my boss's boss, um, <laughs> I'll, I, I'm, I'm very honest and true and, and like I will joke, I'll, I'll make comments, I'm like, I'm, I'm me, and then I get home and, and my wife, whom you've met and hang out and who's serving us our drinks, it you know, I, I crack the same dumb ass jokes all the time. I'm like saying the same stupid shit I say at work. Mm. And he can attest to that. Um, and then I go out and I hang out and it's kind of the same person. But you're a hundred thousand percent correct is mm. there is shit that I won't say or I won't do mm. here. Just yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. And there's a little bit like Fart jokes and bathroom jokes. Oh, yeah. I post fart jokes and bed like, hey, look, here's a picture of the bathroom stall at work, and I could post that shit all day long. All day long. And just, it's funny to me. And then my wife is all like, like, bro, please take that down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> how, how old are we today? Come yeah. on. Yeah. Really, don't post that shit. So, I, I. I I think I'm on the most even keel for going across everything, but right. you still have, going back to the album, you still have an alter ego. There still is, yeah. you know, your employer goes, oh, I didn't know you did that. Oh, I don't know you do that. Um, and yeah. so for you... And there's a bunch of shit that, some, that one of my employers will never know. Anticipation. Yeah. What's your expectation for moving forward? If you, you got the October 31st drop for Von Doom, King Doom yeah. album. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, it, it's kind of a dumbass question. Oh, I'd love it to go platinum. I'd love it to go a million, you know. And on, well, you know, wait, on your, are you doing it on your own independently, or, or are you working who? No, it's all me. Okay. The, so uh, just, what's called, besides it being me and TPT going together, that was all me, too. I haven't, I haven't received any, any, uh, any help on, on this album now. I say I'm dropping um, King Doom on the 31st, but it's not even completely 100 percent done. I, I got like I got like six more songs. You got a month? But, yeah, about oh. a month, and I'm mixing it myself. I'm mastering it myself. I'm doing everything myself. 
So when I for for this album, Alter Ego, I got to hang out with you in the studio. Right. Uh, and a Chris winner, Lock. Hit Chris Lock. Chris hit, Lock hit, he got producer of the year, right? Uh, or was it producer of the year? Engineer, 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 right? Of the year for Hip Hop Awards uh, a year ago. Right. Well, I don't know how many years he got it before that, but it was right. a year ago. Right. Um, and so I got the pleasure of getting a call from Von Doom and saying, "Hey, we're going to be dropping, we're doing all these tracks. Come hang out, take a photo and video." It was super badass driving out to bum fuck. Del Valley, goddamn! I was like, I heard banjo music as I was driving down the street, and some dude was wearing a leather mask, and I was like, where the fuck am I at? It's so far, it's so far in Del Valley, it's almost out of Del. <laughs> yeah, it's out of mind though. So, um, so that was a, a badass experience to be able to be part of that for you, but. So this album that you're talking about now, coming on 31st, is not being by lock. It's this is you doing it. It's me. It's all me. Props, brother. Um, I mean, that's. That, I mean, the couple of the features that are gonna be on there, they're, they 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 may be coming from other studios, mm-hmm. but I'm doing the mixing on the actual track. Like I, cool. I just had somebody send me uh, part of the track, uh, with a hook for the track, uh, before I got here, uh, for one of the tracks that's gonna be on there. So. And should be pretty dope, man. Director, sir, can you do me a favor and check Facebook on that camera over there on that laptop and make sure we don't have any questions coming in? Sorry. We're ready. Apparently, my crew is all, and they all fucking ran outside. Yeah, so me, time. Boom, me yeah, me and Von Doom are hanging out. We're having some badass conversation. We're talking shit about cowboys. Okay, well, not really. And everything, yeah, we should, we need to bring them all inside. And, and all awesome. the whole... Well, pretty good, because them some dude. I mean, cowboy fans are cowboy fans, and they're like rabid, like... Uh, okay. They're about as bad as Golden but, State fans. But, I think that's why everybody left. <laughs> yeah, but like Texan fans, man, they're like, our team sucks, and we know they suck, and we're going to kick your ass because our team sucks. Mm-hmm. Damn, Texan fans are fucking crazy. So, uh, and I love, this is this is why I like three beers and whiskey, we're just talking and like shit goes all over the place. But, um, for, <laughs> for football, so Auburn is my my. Yeah, that's where my blood runs, man. Mm-hmm. But I'll, I'll, I'll watch the Longhorns. I've been to Longhorn games. I'll root for them. I love Longhorns. But when it comes to Auburn. But when it comes to Auburn, man, that's fucking war damn eagle. You heard that, Uncle Mike? I know you're watching. Um, so here's the real quick. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Question. How do you feel about them having to, as far as the NFL? Mm-hmm. I mind you, I haven't watched the game, but I've I know you haven't watched the game, right, right? I've been hearing about this. How do you feel about them having to uh, cradle the quarterback and lay him down and put a pillow under his head and cover him with a blanket? Man, I'm like. Meanwhile, your your Auburn homie Cam Newton been getting his ass lit up. I know, and I and I love it. I'm like, oh, football. He gets laid out. Oh, look, see, we did get a question coming off the internet. I wanted, like, is this it? Is this? There's some disrespect, Ruffy. Nobody wants to hear this. Oh, see, I know we're jumping from fucking, we're just talking shit, Longhorn and Cam Newton and football. This is a good question. So, what's the story behind the mask? <laughs> Talk about it, man. Oh, the laugh. Oh, see, I've heard that laugh on the album. <laughs> That's uh, a doom laugh. Uh, That's a doom laugh. That's, that shit's yeah, weird. the Von right. Doom laugh. Okay, so what's up with the mask? Oh. The mask The mask is because I'm scared of everybody when I'm on stage, so I cover my face up. That's not true, but... Me. It sounds it sounds pretty good. That's pretty good. Hey, you. you know what? Oh, there's there's people. If they're not watching live right now, they will watch it later. And be like, oh, oh, see, I told you. Yeah, that's, what, that's, <laughs> what I did. that's what I did. They're, so, gonna, they're gonna cut that one clip and then we're like, this, right. look, this is what he said. So okay. So the the purpose of the whole. But we had 
It was G Bully. Okay. Way back in the day, it was G Bully. Even before then, it was Omega Evil Genius. And before then, it was MC69. And that's all you? This was before Takashi. That was the MC69 in 2000 and 2000. 2000, 2000. Yeah, I was almost saying. like what, year 4000? No, I almost said 2001. <laughs> okay, you're, you're too. So, okay, so what's up with the mask though? I mean, talk to us so, about what's up with Von Doom and having the mask. It's all part of the performance. It's all part of the performance, but it's all part of the alter ego thing. See, the name of the alter ego album came from both, if you look at the back cover, you'll yeah. see me and TPT both in a mask. Like, I don't know if I got the back cover there on there. Yeah, it's in there. Oh, it's in there. You'll see both of us. Ah, okay, got it, got it, got it. Wait, 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 we got it. Here. But what we're talking about is everybody being in the mask on the inside, on the inside of the cover. And right. if you look on the outside, look at the two photos on the outside of the outside edge. Just see. Yeah. Oh, I see. See, uh, yeah. I, I mean, I saw him because he's got the gold mask, yeah. but I never, this is the first time I've yeah. So, that, the purpose of the mask is, one, this, this is all seriousness now, is one, to show that everybody has an alter ego. Once yeah. the mask comes on and Von Doom comes out, Von Doom is here, nobody can... Nobody can speak to Von Doom directly. It's all about performance. That's why when I do interviews, I keep the mask on halfway. I don't put it all the way on because I'm not in full Von Doom. Mm -hmm. Two. Because then I couldn't inter interview you. It would be it would be a weird ass interview. Will Tompkins, from me and everybody here at Three Beers and a Whiskey, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, make sure if you uh, like what you saw, you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button, uh, subscribe, and also click on the notification bell so that you won't miss future videos from Three Beers and Whiskey. Thank you all very much.